So I'm doing a smoothie fast. Why you ask? Who doesn't want to eat? Who doesn't like food? Who doesn't like to masticate? Masticate? Masticate. I am doing JJ Smith's 10 day smoothie challenge diet. I don't know what to call it, but I'm going to do five days though because as you know, Thanksgiving is soon. <laughs> Though I don't eat meat, I'm not going to subject myself to not eating good things. I can still eat stuffing slash dressing. I don't know what y'all preference is on the name of what that item is. Um, string beans, collard greens, cabbage, if you will, yams. My sis yams, candied, candied, love it. Not gonna do that to myself. So I'm gonna give it a good five days. Why am I doing this? Seriously, my trip is in like a couple of weeks and sis is not where she wants to be. I gotta dress me for the trip that I'm going on and I just wanna feel good in it, you know what I'm saying? It would boost my ego if they had to take it in, you know what I'm saying? Cause if I got, you know, skinty. So that's low key the goal. So we're gonna see how it go. I'm excited. Um, I pray that I make it through. I am gonna make it through. In the book, it does talk about it's an option that you can have one meal like of eating and the other two juicing, which I'm gonna extend myself grace if I do have a meal because you just never know. You never know. And we'll see how this goes. I'm excited. And let's begin. These are some of the ingredients I need for day one. So I'm just washing it off. These are the fruits that are going in day one smoothie. We have apple, strawberry, peaches, and grapes. I'm about to add the spinach and the kale. A little bit of hemp powder and some flaxseed meal, I think, and a little bit of collagen because I worked out and you know my joints ain't like they used to be. So that's pretty much it. And I just drink this all day. Like I, I have the portions because my blender is not but so big. I get back. I want to make the second batch for like dinner, and that's it. Day one was off to a good start. Um, uh, until I went on set. <laughs> My friend said it's her first feature film. Shout out to Miranda. And like during the shoot, like I was feeling so lightheaded. And I feel like it's because I didn't drink a lot of water because I didn't want to have to pee every two seconds. Because when I drink water, I be peeing like. I think last night I feel like two, three times within an hour. And I didn't want to do that because it's like I was actually doing something on set. <laughs> and I didn't want to keep like stopping, you know, be like messing up the flow. Long story short, they had pizza on set for dinner. It was a horror movie. And I feel like I was about to become the thing that they were running from because I was so hungry. Like I was so hungry. And y'all, I had some pizza. Mm. I had a slice of cheese and I had a slice of veggie. Y'all pray for me. That's all I can say. Just pray for me. I'm gonna be in the house and I ain't gonna look at nothing that's not a smoothie. Okay, this is day two, technically still day one. This is the first drink. Um, that I didn't finish, the second half that I didn't finish yesterday because, you know, I wanna drink this before I start drinking day two stuff. I just wanted to let y'all see like what it looked like. It's very green. And I'm gonna drink this while I'm doing this webinar and I'm gonna prep after that um, for day two stuff. All right, this is what day two is looking like before I mix it all up. Apples, kale, mixed spring greens, 
um, strawberries, bananas. This is the final product. It was like in red for a second when I was blending up the strawberries, but I don't know, I guess the green power just took over, which is fine. You know, she thick with banana, but it's gonna come out good and I'm excited to try it. This is the second smoothie. Looking all pretty and green and stuff. Drink this right on up because I'm hungry. All right, this is day three smoothie. It was pretty much like a berry uh, smoothie with, you know, mixed greens and bananas and then a whole apple. It looks good. Can't wait to have it. I also added some hemp protein because I just worked out and I just feel like I need extra protein. And I'm going to put this in a to go cup because I'm fitting to go to the spa. So I just got done at the spa and I feel like I was wrapped in Jesus's arms, y'all. Like I just feel so good. <laughs> I feel so good. I don't know if this is if it's the cleanse, if it's just like I needed this. I really didn't need this spa day, but I feel like, man, oh my gosh, like this cleanse and this spa day is like peak, like Whenever I'm feeling bad, I'm just gonna do this because I feel great, I feel wonderful. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to come on and say that. Last smoothie of the day. I just wanted to show y'all how pretty and green that is. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I feel like while being on this cleanse, I just have such an appreciation for green and just natural colors. So that's the rest of it. I blended up the greens um, first. Just gonna, it could be, you know, blended better. And then I just added a rest and I'm about to blend this up, drink it and watch how to get away further. I'm a couple of episodes behind. And I heard this mid season finale was mm, a lot, a lot. So I'm about to get into it. Good morning. So I just wanted to give like a quick update on, you know, how the smoothie cleanse is going, how I'm feeling, blah, blah, blah. And I just want to start out by saying I feel so good. Like I have so much energy. Like I feel like I have like a whole new body. <laughs> but I will say that going forward for these next two days, so day four and five, I'm going to do the modified plan because I have an appointment to get like immunization shots for my trip um, in a couple of weeks. And I don't want to go in there just running on like smoothie fuel because that's not my normal standard diet. So I want to start eating. I'm going to do smoothies for two meals and then have a, a healthy meal for one. I'll probably have lunch as my meal um, today because I have to go into work and I'm going to ease into it like today I'm probably going to get salad um, from wherever we, were, we order at lunch and then tomorrow I'll probably do like soup for dinner and I have like this quinoa mix um, so I'll probably do that just to ease in like I don't want to eat like a veggie burger or like I don't know like something extravagant my first meal I kind of want to ease into it so I'm going to ease into it with the salad and the soup but I kind of like talked it over with my boyfriend yesterday. He was just like, yeah, you should eat eat something. Like eat something. Definitely don't go in on an empty stomach, which I, I'll probably make like some oatmeal or something um, that morning before my appointment. But I definitely didn't want to eat it. Like I definitely didn't want to go in just running off a of five day smoothie fuel. <laughs> so that's my game plan for the next two days. I'm about to make my smoothie. I'm going to have the other part of the smoothie for dinner. And that's it. I will see y'all later. Well, in a few seconds, when I make this smoothie. This is filled to the brim. Just more kale, spinach, a whole apple this time, and then peaches and some mixed berries. And I put in some collagen because I worked out. My knees is like, girl, goodbye. <laughs> and I added some flax seeds. So I'm about to drink this up. I'm about to hop on this webinar thing and then go to work. Last day, just mixed up the spinach and flax seeds together, and then I put in the fruit, the mixed berries, 
some grapes and some peaches and we're gonna blend this all up look at this pretty color it's not showing up the way i want but the color i'm seeing is so pretty and i'm actually going to pack this to go because i gotta run some errands gotta pick up some things for my trip and it's less than two weeks i'm super excited so i want to take this to go and get out no jordan peele i actually took measurements this morning i'll also inch from my waist and my waist i just measured like the smallest part of I guess my midsection and then I lost half an inch like around my belly button area so I'm happy about that I feel really really good like I really needed this my body needed this this is like right on time for the holiday season where you just feel like you know you about to eat some stuff that you shouldn't be eating like I feel like I'll make more conscious decisions um since I did this before the holidays like i make more conscious decisions on what i'm eating i'll i'll try not to go like ham on calorie counting because it's like it's everybody's making different stuff so it's like it's hard to track that but i'll definitely make more mindful decisions and yeah